What's up guys, welcome to the channel. Gary with Streeter Motorsports here and I got a little bit of a predicament that I've gotten myself into. So I'm sitting in my 2022 GR Supra that you guys saw that I got in my last couple of videos and um, it's got hardly any miles on it. I got a brand new from, from the dealer, but um, I uh, broke it. So yeah, as you can see, my rear view mirror is shattered entirely into a million pieces and this needs to be replaced. So replace it, I shall. That is what I'm going to be doing today. So I have to put that new mirror on and I just so happen to have it right here. Oops. This was not a cheap part to replace. I highly recommend not breaking your, oh look, you can see the car just like this. So let's hop in here. One of the main things that actually makes it really hard to work on these cars is how little amount of room that you have going on on the inside of the car. You have hardly any room and that makes it difficult to do any sort of self maintenance. But let's get going. I'm pretty sure I can get this started by removing this plastic trim that's around it right here. Pretty sure this plastic trim just like, yep, it just comes off just like this. So you got like one half of the plastic trim and then the other half like this and you know put these somewhere safe like down on your past your footwell and now here's where a little bit of sciences needs to come in because i have to look at this and then look at this and figure out how the hell it comes apart and it looks like it's got like these metal clips but i don't know how the metal clips all right so i can't be 100 percent certain but it appears as if this thing just slides on and slides off and I do have this one electrical connection that I need to replace, and that is for the auto dimming and garage door opening features, as you can see. Time to uh, unplug that. And to unplug this, I'm gonna slide a little bitty screwdriver in between the two of them. One thing that I absolutely hate about the little black car is that it's impossible to work on. It's such a small little area. And when you're working in a small area, especially a small area in a car, and you're trying to do this kind of project where you're you know, working on unknown areas of the car and, and you know, you can't find anything on the internet of any videos of anyone else ever doing it because no one else has probably broken their rear view mirror before on their Supra. You know, obviously people have removed them. You're just better off avoiding having to do this in the first place. So don't break your rear view mirror. But if you do, I'm here to try to show you how to fix it, how to replace it. So I got the little screwdriver. Let's get in there and try to get that electrical connection apart. <laughs> And just like that, I was able to get the electrical connection apart just by putting a screwdriver in between the two like this and then kind of pulling out on this piece. So now I think what I'm gonna do is get a, another screwdriver. Or maybe even just this one. And just kind of pull those down. The same on the other side. So now we're on this side. I'm just gonna try to do the same thing on this side. Oh. Okay, so it really was that easy. Just pulling on these two tabs right here. These two tabs. And then the whole thing slides off. Sweet. So now I can <laughs> leave the rear view mirror off. No. Now I can replace it with the new not broken one. Hopefully this just slides right on. Wow. Just like that. And then our little electrical connection. Just like that. And then our trim pieces can get put back on too. And that's all she wrote. It didn't take nearly as long as I thought it was going to take. And now I got my rear view mirror back. Hey, awesome. Sincerely hope you enjoyed this very short video on how to replace your GR Supra rear view mirror if you happen to break it for some reason, like me. Hopefully this helped you. Hopefully provided a tiny bit of entertainment. But yeah, got that done. That's another thing off the checklist. Stay tuned and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.